If he's a provider, I can't stay broke. If he's a healer, I can't stay sick. This is the kind of teaching that will cause someone to be depressed. There are some teachings that are more harmful than others. There are some teachings that will literally cause people to be depressed, to even doubt their salvation, doubt their faith, doubt whether God loves them. Some teachings aren't as harmful. You call them out and you let folks know, you point them to what's right, what's wrong. This is one such teaching that has become more pervasive in the body that has also caused a lot of harm, caused a lot of depression, a lot of doubt as to whether a person actually is safe but also even reveals who might not actually be saved as well. And I want to just kind of point you guys to a particular video. This is just a little short clip. This is, and it's not so really much about the people there. The people that are involved is Mike Todd and uh, Travis Green and Ty Trippett. Two of these are gospel recording artists who are now, I guess, pastors. But I want you to hear what's being stated. And I want you to notice and see if you can pick out what they're teaching that is harmful to the body. Provider, I can't stay broke. If he's a healer, I can't stay sick. If he's a deliverer, I can't stay bound. Do you know who your daddy is? Do you, 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 you, now, it's not the theatrics, it's not the, the screaming and so forth, it's not the repeating and do you, do you, do you. No, it's not that. And no, it's not how Mike Todd is dressed, the pastor. No, it's not that. The dangerous teaching that's there is that, well, let me play it again. Let me see if you catch it. I want, I don't want to, I want to see if you got it. If he's a provider, I can't stay broke. That's it. If he's a provider, I can't stay broke. If he's a healer, can't stay sick. If he's a healer, I can't stay sick. Is that true? Well, first of all, let's look what the Bible says. The Bible tells us this, this needs to be understood. And this is why I said this can be dangerous, unhealthy. It causes problems. The Bible tells us that indeed all who desire to live godly, all of them who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will, will be persecuted. Uh, now, there are those who are going to be deceiving that will tell you differently, but there's going to be some persecution in your problem in your life. And so you might think that, hey, wait a second, I'm a believer. I shouldn't have that. But wait a second, though. Paul suffered as well. As a matter of fact, Paul inquired, went to the Lord three times. God tells him that my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weaknesses. Now, notice what he says earlier, though. Let's pull it back up. He says that um, that for this reason, to keep me from exalting myself, there was given me a thorn in the flesh and a messenger of Satan to keep me from exalting myself. So there's a reason why sometimes you might be going through things. But I want to also notice how many times did he plead? The Bible says that he plead for this to be taken away three times. So this is something clear that Paul wanted to leave him. Uh, this was a bother to him. And through the scriptures, we see even after the cross that we see that there were people who were sick. Uh, Timothy was told to take wine for his stomach. Trophimus almost died. There's people in the Bible who almost died or who did die or who did get sick. And so it's not the Bible telling us that those who are in him, that if you if he's a healer, then you can't stay sick. No, yes, you can. There are plenty of people that will be sick and will die of their sickness. If he's a provider, that means that you can't be broke. No, there's a lot of folks. He did not, the poor you shall have with you always. He's not come to make you rich at least not in his, uh, in finan financially, let the word of God dwell richly in you. That's the, that's the only promise of anything resulting to riches that he will tell you his word being rich. But there are people though, who see this as a means of gains. The Bible says that constant friction, these men have constant friction between men of depraved mind and deprived of truth who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. That's literally kind of what you're teaching here. It really is what you're teaching that you're supposed to be, you're supposed to get some sort of gain um, by being in Christ, either from them or selling you that same bill of goods as well. And you, you couple all this with emotionalism. If he's a deliverer, I can't stay bound. Do you know who your daddy is? Do you, 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 do you
what we don't want to do is equate his goodness with our blessings. And when I mean our blessings, I mean our financial blessings, our physical blessings, those sort of blessings that if we don't get those, well, then either he's not our father or he's not a good father. And this will cause someone to doubt. Am I actually saved? Because these things should not be happening to me. If I'm saved, I shouldn't be poor. If I'm saved, I shouldn't be sick. If I'm saved, I shouldn't be uh, distraught. If I'm saved, I shouldn't have any of these things happening to me. But Paul says this was happening to him to want to keep him humble. And he says that when I'm weak, that same passage, then I'm strong. Why? Because recognizing my weak, my weaknesses, I have to lean on the one who isn't weak, the one who is strong. But this teaching, which is pervasive in the world today, in Christian churches today, that you can have whatever it is that you want, uh, especially if your daddy, if your father is God. That's a horrible and dangerous teaching. Mm -hmm.